And we're back. So more RimWorld. And today we're going to do a whole bunch of upgrades. Uh, Knuckles over here is new to the team, but their stats are... Yeah, they're not exactly where we would want them. So we're going to pick up the mining skill trainer. Uh, there's a medical one there as well because they've got the medical skill. And I think we got a plants one. Yeah, there's a plants one as well. We're going to give them all three of those. Namely because they're not quite as high as the others. And oh wait, is there a me melee one? Yep. Yeah. That brings their mining up to 11, their medical up to 13, plants up to 6, and oh, melee skill trainer as well, if you wouldn't mind. That will take that from 8 all the way up to 10. Right, now they look more like a proper murder munchkin right there. Okay. Next up, we've got a whole bunch of other trainers we have to hand out. Turns out Knuckles is still the worst pawn we have at plants, so we'll grab them that one. That brings them up to 8, making them now the second worst at plants. Yep. Uh, as well as that, we have another mining skill trainer over here. We're going to give that to Index because they're currently our worst miner. I'm spreading out all these skills because I want... Well, I like having the whole team being nice and efficient. Also, our good miners, the ones that actually have passions in it. Yeah, they're already above 10, so if we dump this on them, it's just, it's just a waste of skills, to be honest. All right, after that, all we've got left is Psy trainers, or Psy skill trainers. Let's hand out some magic spells. With all of these spells, let's have a quick check. Index is immediately going to get Psy skip. Nails is going to get Neuroquake. Ring is going to get Neuroquake. Pamela is going to grab both uh, Sight Trainer Skip and Berserk Pulse. Chief is going to grab Berserk Pulse. And what's left? Oh, Neural Heat Dump. Yeah, Chief is going to grab that too. That's an awful lot of skills learned. That makes the entire team just that little bit stronger. Now, Bionic Installs. First pawn under the knife will be nails. Reason being, they are beautiful, which gives them a plus, plus two uh, moodlet for beauty, which means everyone likes them plus 40%, I believe, or it's plus 40 points. Uh, yeah, opinion of other people. Yeah, everyone likes them because they're hot, basically. We're going to give them a stone skin land, which will uh, give them minus two beauty and make them average. They will now be average afterwards. Unfortunate, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. I think we're going to have to do an operation on thumb. I made a mistake here. It turns out they started off as pretty, giving them a plus one beauty moodlet, and I then gave them an aesthetic nose and a, an aesthetic shaper. They only needed one, not both. So we can actually remove the aesthetic shaper from them. But uh, that's after Nails' operation, which, yeah, we'll speed that along a bit. And success. Once they're out of bed, we'll uh, move on to the next operation. I don't like operating on multiple people because then you have multiple people unconscious and you could get raided. I like to be a little bit cautious. A quick operation on Thumb, and now they are missing their uh, uh, aesthetic shaper. We'll just throw Pinky under the knife now. Pinky, though, has a lot more operations going on from Index. You are, yeah, your medical chances are perfect. Pinky here is going to get an Architect Eye, uh, an aesthetic shaper, an aesthetic nose, uh, a psychic sensitizer, and a stone skin gland. With all of those, they should end up eh, pretty. Did you two just insult each other? Come on, stop doing that. That's. Also, I managed to sort out the problems with Luciferium. I was advised in the comments, where is it? If we go into drug policy, I had didn't have this one ticked. Uh, four addictions. You have to tick that for Luciferium instead of putting a scheduled. This is scheduled dosage. You need to have addiction as well ticked. That means they'll take it whenever the Luciferium needs gets too low. Works out perfectly that way. I haven't had any issues since I've done that. All right, let's, uh, let's fast forward through th some of these operations. Pinky's going to end up, um, well, a lot tougher than they used to be. The reason I wanted to give it to Pinky is they're also tough to start with, meaning all incoming damage on them is halved. Throw in some stone skin on top of that, they're going to be incredibly tough. Same as Thumb over here. Thumb is currently our th toughest pawn with a tough stone skin cataphract armor toting person. It's just nice to spread that around. With Pinky all up to speed, it's time to get on with the next stage of the plan. And I figured out how to get the quest. Uh, if we go into historical quests here, you can see the Royal Ascent quest. Now this seems to be tied to a location. Now, so for example, we had to keep these people here or it wouldn't work, so it failed when we abandoned that tile. Same here. However, we still can't do the quest until we have someone earning the title of Count. So we have to get someone up to Count and then, then we can actually call them in. That is not too bad, actually. Pamela's almost there. I was going to go with Chief to get it, but uh, Chief, unfortunately, does not have quite enough honour just yet. Well, they're a little bit behind uh, Pamela. So I think... Yeah, I think Pamela is going to end up becoming our Countess, and she's the one that can call in the Stellar Quest. Uh, for now, though, that means we're going to have to... We can't finish the game until we get our hands on a few more quests that give us some more honour. Shouldn't be too long. It looks like Randy wants us to have fun today. Paid hostility. Uh, basically, 
Yeah, someone pissed off a bunch of people. There's three groups of tribes. People will attack you, but they're going to attack Australia. Not this tile. The Australia tile. These bugs have not eaten in so long. I imagine they must be hungry, hungry, hungry for some uh, for some of those tasty, tasty tribals. So two similar sized groups will follow. 15 mercenary snatchers will be placed under your control. Downside is, this is all they're offering. I was hoping for some honor, but 31 Luciferium looks great, but you know what looks even better? A Resurrector Mech Serum. Though I'm not sure how we're going to get our hands on that, considering it will be in Australia. But who cares? Let's see what happens. Uh, okay, jump to location. Uh, uh oh. Uh, yeah. Let, let let's get you all out of here. Like we'll run you, but you're still dead. Like there's there's no way you're getting out of their life. Maybe one or two of you on the edge can get away. Run, run. Uh, do you have anything that can help you? No, you do not. Uh, Jesus, this is absolutely the worst place you'd land. I think it's because I had the beds listed there. It thought this was the landing spot. I maybe should have changed that a bit. It's okay. Oh, go juice. Totally should have got you to take the go juice. You might have been able to run him, but you? No, you're too slow. You're, you're totally dead. Oof. That is just a nasty mess. I suppose what we could do is teleport in some of our people to help out. Uh, no, I don't want to kill the bugs. Then we'd have to fight them. We could teleport in and remove Cowley? No. See, the problem is I want someone here so I can teleport in, grab the resurrected mech serum when it appears, and then teleport out again. So now that I think about it, it's going to appear there. You know what? Let's just let them all die. It would be simpler that way. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. That one just lay down. Are they... Are they napping? Is it late enough at night that they're going to fall asleep? That... That could work. Now, we need to get this person away from here and hide them so that they won't get killed. We just need them to hide out until this all blows over. Um, maybe we could get them to kill this while they're here. Rocking at the EMI Dynamo. We've been meaning to do that for a while. Yeah, I said we do that. If we can knock that out, it will make our lives so much simpler. Hey, come on. Go to sleep. Sun's getting real low. Come on. All right, we'll move over here anyway and see what we can manage. And Cooley works long into the night, smashing down this dynamo. Come on. Wow, your weapon sucks. What is that thing even? It has to be terrible to be doing that little damage per hit. A steel Gladys. Oh, 7.52 damage per second. That is... Right, this this could take just a little bit of time. Mech cluster buildings have been defeated. EMO, EMI dynamo has been destroyed. Excellent. Now, uh, where was it? Yeah, this has been shut down. Like One thing you could do is you could leave that building there because... Or, or something like it, line it, ah, something like it that's not a negative to your colony. Say something that increases or decreases the temperature and you don't care. And then that shield generator there would stay up. You could wall it in and use that shield generator as part of your defenses if you were willing to build your base around it. Now with that done, uh, do we have any steel we can use? Yes, we do. I say we wall this sucker in and we worry about other stuff later. Yeah, I'm thinking steel walls right like this. The plan here, grab the steel quickly bring it to these wall segments and try and wall ourselves in before the bugs decide to wake up and eat them. Uh, if we can wall ourselves in here, hopefully they can survive long enough for the tribals to do their murdering and where are you going? Hauling plastic stockpile? No, 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 no. Not a sign to constructing. They're slowly walling themselves in and botching a bunch of constructions. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, just, just finish this wall. Don't botch it, don't botch it and you might get to live. Oh god, you suck so badly at this. How do you suck this bad? You know what? Let's create a stockpile right there. Uh, let's have you fill that stockpile. Then you won't have to keep running back and forth so much. Because those bugs are going to wake up soon, and then they're going to start going to nom on you. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, good, 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 good. Do it, do it, do it. Oh god, you suck at this so bad. Oh, your construction is too. You have a passion for it. All right, they're almost there. Almost. They've managed to get everything done by this one wall segment. You uh, hold that steel there. Perfect. Then we'll put down the wall segment. And then you shall be walled in. There's no escaping out of here, but that's fine. You've got 30 steel and a tree. <laughs> you want a roof? You know what? Maybe, maybe we'll give you a little bit of a roof. But we'll leave some of it open to the sky. Otherwise, you might get a little bit annoyed with all the darkness. There you go. 
Could, should we leave them the tree? Yeah, actually, we can leave them the tree too. Back at the home base, we're just going to do a quick caravan to get out of here. We've got everything we want from this tile. Poor Cooley is still trapped in here and... Oh, wow. Uh, damn it. Can we repair that? Uh, we're going to have to make that home zone. <laughs> Dear Lord. Uh, this poor chap, I, I don't think they're getting out of here alive, but if we can keep them alive a little bit longer, I suppose that'd be good. We will get them repairing the wall, but I doubt this is going to go well. Yeah. They're, come on, go away, go... Ooh, they are actually going away. That? I, I can't believe he's still alive. Okay, you're going to hide in here. You can hopefully survive long enough. Uh, everyone back home is filling up the caravan. Nice, nice. Okay, it's a good day. That means if uh, Cooley survives, we can teleport over. Now, I suppose we could wipe out Australia, though. Let's see how the tribals do. If the tribals do enough damage, we might think about coming in here and killing them, but we're, we're really going to have to make some sort of kill box, and, uh, what are you doing? You seem to be moving with purpose. Oh, oh no, um, Mama Megascarab's not happy with that one. <laughs> oh my god, I think that cougar immediately regrets its life choices. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Yeah, welcome to Australia, buddy, and oh no, now they're aggroed again. Look, it's fine. It's fine. He can probably repair through some of the damage. Who am I kidding with this many of them? There is no hope. Uh, come on, come on. Oh, no. They've changed their minds again. Right. If that's the case, we can maybe come here and claim these unstable power cells. We don't really need them, but they would be fun to have, and they're quite explosive. While loading up this caravan, I noticed something odd. Everyone's unhappy because Hitten died. Uh, one, two... A uh, friend Hitten died, three, four... They're all really sad about Hitten. What is going on? Uh, Chief doesn't seem to care. Uh, everyone after... Where is it? Yeah, everyone after Nails doesn't care. So, like, Pamela and the last... Oh, wait. No. Who the hell cares there? You know what? That's just weird. This is Hitten over here. I have no idea who they are. Not a clue. Did we rescue them at some point? They do contain a death acidifier, so maybe there were someone we rescued or let go, or I... You know what? I don't know. They're gone now. Weird, but that's going to be a minus four mood, moodlet penalty for no reason that I can figure. All right, let's finish this load up and get ready for the fight in Australia. Well, all of this packing up is going on. We've had uh, the wonderful noise of a raid. Pact of Toxos. Uh, three groups arriving from three different directions. So over here we've got 70 humans, mix of... Ranged in close combat, another 70 over here, ranged in close combat again, or not 70 quite, and over here we have 45. So let's see where all three of these groups go towards. What's it? Uh, looks like they want to use sappers to tunnel around your defenses. Well, good luck tunneling around these defenses. They're pretty robust, let's just say. They're some of the most robust defenses I have ever seen. So far, no one has managed to breach these defenses. And... Ow. Oh look, Garrett has been eaten by a mega spider. Dear lord, you're just gonna get swarmed and consumed. There is no escape. I don't blame them. I do not blame them in the slightest. That was just yeah, that was that was the way that was gonna go down. On the right side, it's broken them up a bit, and these two groups are almost hitting at the same time. Kill the hives. If you could kill all the hives, they would technically be dead. No, I don't think they will. Oh, one group distracting. Come on, kill all the hives. You see, if they kill the hives, the quest gets completed. Quick pause. Let's have a check and see how Cooley's doing. Cooley, how you doing, buddy? Cooley's doing good. He's having a quick nap. That's that's great, Cooley. Good for you. I, I even built them a steel table. It, we had enough steel, I thought. I didn't want them eating, you know, without... I didn't want them uh, trying to dine without a table. Even I'm not that cruel. Uh, over here, we've got the hives. How many have we got left? 21 hives. If they could wipe out all the hives, which, okay, is now looking very unlikely, they would actually complete the quest. Oh, this should at least slow them down. Tribes people from the Pact of Toxos are fleeing. Yep, still not going to blame them. That is just unbelievable. Do bear in mind, though, we've got another two waves of this to happen, it seems. Oh, who's that guy? That's some nice armor you're wearing there, buddy. Steel plate, never mind. You're dead. Yeah, that's, that's the end of all of those. That was brutal. I mean, when you look over here, you don't even see any insect corpses, do you? 
All you just see is the, the bodies of the dead. Oh, look, another raid has shown up. Uh, we got... <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you arrived just in time to see your, your other friends fleeing. 88, um, all ranged. Oh, well, that doesn't bode well. And then we've got another 74. Yeah, all ranged as well. You are going to have a really bad day. I suppose the only hope would be that we can st they could still take out the hives. Theoretically, if they take out the hives, it's all over for them. They won't be able to reproduce. And there's only six of them left. But, yeah, I don't think they're going to manage that somehow. Come on, at least kill one of the mega spiders. If you could kill one of the mega spiders, that would be good. And where are you guys going? Are you going down to attack the guy who's sleeping in his little cave? Uh, <laughs> I almost wish we could rescue this guy. And you know what? Grab a, grab a meal for yourself. You're hungry. You might as well... Eat. You're not going to use the table? You know, I'm not even responsible for that one. I, I, suppose I couldn't afford to actually make you a chair. Hey, hey, what the hell? Uh, you're not set to firefight, are you? Oh, great. They're a pyromaniac and they can't firefight. Uh, oh my god. Uh, and I put them inside a steel room that could be set in fire by raiders. Well, that's just dandy. What's the temperature inside? Yep, 35. Oh, God. Here comes the bugs, do they? Yep, that's the bugs. Um, Over here, yep, nothing but a trail of destruction. Let's hope the bugs can distract them long enough for our guy to escape. Oh, God, no, Cory. Um, stay back there for now. Uh, I think what we'll do is deconstruct that quickly. Uh, deconstruct that to get out of there. You're probably still dead. Not gonna lie, we don't have time to save you, but maybe we can run you at the back door. Oh, great. Seriously, you can't run... You're a pyromaniac. You're supposed to love fire. Just run across the fire. Oh, God. Get stop. Yep. Roof collapse. Uh, fine. What the hell is the roof collapse from? Ah, yes. Uh, that's... Uh, still, it's Grant. What was that last thing? Manhunter pack? Oh, come on. A pack of mana... <laughs> That's... Rhinos. Okay, so there's three rhinoceroses that have shown up. That's fine. We just want to get uh, Cooley out here. Come on. Run, buddy. You might as well get going. Ooh, thank God for that shield belt. The shield belt is the only thing keeping you alive right now. We need to find somewhere else to put you. I'm thinking... Down here? Yeah, we can get you to mine in here. And if you can get yourself enough steel, you can wall yourself in. And then maybe we can drill you out some more stuff that can allow you to survive oh wow look at that just line you can actually see the battle line there where they fought each other christ hey well uh, i would love to stay and watch but unfortunately we have to try and keep this guy alive just oh your mining is going to be terrible isn't it however there is some steel right here uh, let's create a quick stockpile there and let's go grab that steel uh if you can go and grab that steel over there really quickly that means you can wall in and hopefully we can keep you alive. Yeah, that's enough steel. You've got it. Oh, that's plenty. That's plenty. Oh, seriously? Okay, fine. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I can hear the pirates running. Okay, okay, that is that is fine. You can just put together a steel wall right there. Just put that together right now. Boom. You're safe. You are safe. We'll just uh, mine this out from the inside. And you can take a nap. Right, uh, I think that will work out for, for now. <laughs> oh my god, the, the rhinos are coming for them as well. Uh, the bugs and the animals are, uh, are allies. Raid from the Pact of Toxos. Okay, so we have two hopes here. One, this, this crowd acts as a distraction. There's 89 of them. Oh my god, look at all the weapons and stuff they have. Right, there's 89 of them. If they can distract this crowd and this sneaky crowd over here... There's 80 humans. If they could, by any chance, go this direction and attack the hives, they should be able to wipe out these bugs. If they wipe out all these hives, the bugs will just die off, and Australia will just go back to being, well, a boring continent. I know that's not great, but hey. Um, yeah, that's what we're aiming for here, to survive, and hopefully get some resources out of this. In fact, it might be an idea to move all our beds out of here, because when this is over, the rewards are going to come in. So we're going to copy that, and we are going to... Build that over here. A quick home zone and some beds, though eh, they look like they're already going the wrong direction. That's not going to go well. But 
Cooley gets to live. For now. We'll leave Cooley to that and we'll see what happens to uh, our tribal friends over here. Oh! Kill the rhino for the love of God. It's gonna wreck you. Oof. Yeah, that does not go well for them. Jesus Christ, those bugs just murder everything. You can just see the waves of carnage they've left behind them. Just beautiful. went about as well as you would expect. There's still 52 mega spiders left on the map and this crowd is going to show up and maybe kill a few more. Oh, I think some of them are going to sleep. Jesus Christ. Welcome to Australia. Now you might just, you, you should probably start mining stuff out. We can maybe get you a table and stuff and oh crap, we left your food behind. Never mind, your food's been incinerated. You'll just have to live on wild bug corpses that you find around the map. Pods have arrived. Oh, isn't that nice? It arrived right over here. Um, hmm. Dare we? Dare we send someone over here? Uh, Cooley is no longer allied with us. Damn it. We can't teleport to Cooley, I don't think, anymore. We can try. Unfortunately, no. We need an ally to target. So that means that, uh, I suppose that Resurrector Mexerum is just going to have to stay out there. Yeah, well, we'll get rid of the beds, we don't need them, and any future people that show up will automatically land in the middle of this. Though I might want to change this if there's going to be reinforcements arriving next time. It's nice to keep them alive. I wonder if Cooley here will find a w manage to dig themselves out of that hole. Something a little unprecedented. I think... I think the bugs have been defeated. Um, all the mega spiders are dead. There's a lot of mega spiders alive, but they appear to be unconscious. They... I think the tribals won. I can't believe it. Like, I didn't think anything could take out those bugs. After everything that had been shown at them, I was... I was just very, very confident that they were going to kill everything. Okay, another quest has just shown up. Let's have a see what see what that one's about. Nobles with enemies. Ooh, like, I, I do like the rewards on this one. Uh, 12 honor would be great. The Persona Plasma Sword is excellent. Two Resurrected Mexerums. In fact, all of these rewards are stuff we would like. Unfortunately, we need to stay in the same place for 24 days, which is, no, we're not, we, we can't stay in one place for 24 days. I just couldn't do it. It, it just doesn't go with the style we're playing. Right now, we're in the middle of uh, migrating out of our tile as it is. Now, will these tribals finish this off? If the tribals finish off the, uh, the, rah, the hives, I think it's game over for Australia. All the bugs dead. All it took was a massive, massive, massive amount of waves of tribals. Three waves of tribals in succession. And they finally managed to kill them off. This is... It's a sad day, but I suppose a great day, but a sad day. I mean, I'm just sort of impressed by the tribals actually managing this in the end. I really thought they were just going to get clawed to death. But turns out, you wear people down enough, they will eventually break. And there goes the final one, and I think we've just completed another quest. Yep, pods have arrived. Silent Neuroformer. Great. There is now a Silent Neuroformer and a freaking Resurrection Mixerum on this tile. And we are miles away. We are absolutely miles away and have no way of getting there. Ugh. Let me think. First up, there is still 60 tribals left alive. And we were, even if we moved right now, we're still never going to get there before they get bored of hanging around and they leave. And when they do, they're probably going to take some stuff with them. So we're going to have to wait until they decide what they've looted. And then we'll see if it's actually worthwhile trying to come back here. At the same time, there is quite a bit of good stuff here. There's 288 jade just lying around on the map. Uh, also, if you're looking for some beer, we also got 172 beer lying around on the map. And silver. Yeah, some people dropped a bunch of silver while they were dying here, and there's 1,200 silver. Why? I, I have no idea. Oh, and uh, 1,100 insect jelly as well. It's, it's a very profitable tile. Australia, it seems, is very rich in natural resources. Oh, and they're, they're finishing off the last of the bugs. All right, well, we'll come back here in a bit and see what they've done. For the time being, we need to uninstall everything here and move this caravan along. I'm happy to report that the tribals are leaving the tile and Corley managed to break down the wall and leave. They're, they're actually going to get off the map. I wouldn't have spent so much time keeping them alive if I, didn't, if I realized they were just going to, you know, not be ours anymore at that point. I really wish we had a bit of a warning so we could teleport someone over to provide a beacon for our next travel. Um, 
we're finished here anyway. We're leaving this tile and... Oh, what the hell, guys? How did you leave so much stuff behind? I think we're going to have to leave a couple of people to pull that on board. We have everyone caravaned up and they're moving. Now, let's just have a quick look at Australia. I've thought about this. I've thought about this a lot. And I think, no, we are not going to go back to Australia. Uh, it's just... Yeah, for example, we could get Chief, say, and one other person, and we could send them back on a mission to go over here. We could we could get them to jump as far as here, let's say, or something like that, and we could we could run them over. However, it's not worth it. I was just thinking, we do like one Resurrector Mexerum. I really would like it, but going that far out of our way, that's the only thing worthwhile in this tile. Everything else we don't care about. The gold, even the Silent Neuroformer, we could get we could pray at a tree and get Knuckles up to speed if we really wanted to. So, no, it's not worth it. I would like it, but we're not going to bother. Instead, we're going to move out of here, and I think we're going to do some more tomb raiding along the way. Uh, the reason being, we want to get Pamela up to Countess, and to do that, she needs honour. And to get that honour, the simplest thing to do is just buy it with gold. Uh, I've worked it out, and we'll need about, uh, about 900 gold to do it, so we've already got 700. So let's just hit up some tombs. In fact, let's just hit up a tomb on this tile. I used to start off with so few mods, and now look at the amount we have. I uh, just installed Ground Targeter. It allows you to uh, target grenades on the ground as opposed to worrying about targeting people or things that are moving. Very handy little thing. I haven't actually tested it yet, but we'll find out next time we face a, a bug infestation. But all of these are just, barring the Simple Items mod, I'm pretty sure all of these are just quality of life. No, I suppose that could be argued for any mod. I've uh, made note of all the weapons people carry, so when we move into a new tile, I bring all of their sidearms with them so that they can pick them all up. And there we go. Now, let's go find out what uh, what the local tombs have in store. Unfortunately, this tile has no uh, ancient dangers that I can find. I looked everywhere, there's there's nothing. Uh, I think they had some jade over this end, but you know what? I I'm just going to leave. If there's no ancient dangers, there's no not worthwhile staying around here at all. I do find it appropriate that all of these tiles, have all these jungle tiles, they have a tendency to feel very wet. I suppose they're, they're meant to be, they're jungle. Oh, God damn it! How do you guys have a bead on us already? That's what I'm trying to avoid by doing this at an angle. Uh, I need everyone to move uh, immediately. Wait, oh, damn it, some of them are still stuck. Uh, we want to teleport out the ones that might potentially get shot. Well, I think the simpler thing to do is actually just put in a quick wall raise. If we do a quick wall, wall raise... Oh, ho, 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 ho. Now, people say, why am I worried about the odd uh, Lancer shot and stuff like that? It's just a Lancer can insta-kill anyone. Nothing you can do about it, so if a Lancer takes a shot at one of my pawns, there's a percentage chance that that will be game over for that pawn. We do have a Resurrector Mexerum on hand, but I would prefer not to use it unless we absolutely positively have to. Uh, let's just start chipping away at that wall, maybe. I'd like to take them on one at a time. Oh, they took care of the wall for us. Uh, Chief, you've just moved there. Have you got Skip? Actually, you have Beckon, which is even cheaper. There we go. Nice. Uh, okay, the rest of them are coming out. I think what we do is we skip the centipede back inside. We leave the centipede to last, take care of the pikeman, and then we uh, gang up on the centipede. A quick skip from, actually, Index. I think Index might be the better one, assuming they have skip. No, they have chaos skip. Not the same thing. Uh, we will skip this one back over there. And... Pow. Uh. Oof. Now, uh, Chief, let's see you do another beckon, I think, on that one. Ouch! Ow! Damn it! Oh, yeah, it's only a bruise. Yeah, the the pikemen are less worried about. Well, here comes the centipede. Uh, I think I think we wait outside and around the corner. Uh, the reason being, we just don't want it having any cover. The moment it gets covered, it's an annoyance to deal with. Instead, we'll just let it run outside, and then we'll, we'll surround it and melee it down. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, and combined with some stun hammers and things like that, it won't really be able to shoot back. Now, the reason people tell you to engage these in melee, or that it's a better idea, is just they, while their damage is actually quite good, it's very slow. As in, it takes them a long time to wind up, and if you just keep hitting it, you get so many stuns off on it, it just never gets a chance to fire back. Uh, what have we got in here? We need to check. Luciferium, Animal Pulsar, and Sooth Pulsar. All right, let's open up the caskets. Let's hope they've got some gold. We can have Ring here open up the caskets. Uh, come on, hurry this along, people. There we go. Let's see if any of these are worth capturing. Wow, that one's immediately tucking into the ale. They look promising. Unfortunately, none of them really have any weapons you would consider uh, useful for us. Uh, we'll let them loose. Uh, we'll let the rest of them loose. Just... Yep, yeah, there we go. Oh, Chief, get in, get in there. No point hanging around. 
And who took out a gun? You clip Pamela there, Muppets. All right, we'll strip him off and take all the gold. Unfortunately, only 96 gold. Uh, that, well, could have been better. But that just means we do about three, four more tombs and we'll have enough gold to uh, pay for the ceremony for Pamela. With that tile behind us, we'll move on a little bit further. We're unfortunately not at the amount of gold we really want, 795, but I think one more tomb tomorrow and we'll be good. A little bit of a quick move, a little bit of a quick settle, a little bit of a quick weaponing up, a little bit of cracking open an ancient danger, and we've got a scyther, a couple of lancers, and only two ancient crypto sleep caskets. I'm not holding out my show for a lot of gold. Skill trainer crafting, yeah, we'll find a use for that. Uh, let's uh, get everyone ready for this. I'm going to have Index and Thumb ready to start skipping people should they become a problem. Uh, yeah, you should probably be skipped somewhere where you're going to be less of an issue, just for now. It's just the close combat people, we don't want to mess with them. You know what? I think we do. Let's go full close combat on the remaining three. We have a very, very good group of melee-oriented pawns. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Now... Would you prepare to fire at that scyther over there, if you don't mind? And that's another one bites the dust. That was quick and efficient and brutal, though Pinky did take a bit of damage. Mm. You know what, a bruise and... Ooh, cracking a bruise. Fine, let's go in and see what's in the tombs. We'll have Index over here open up the Crypto Sleep Caskets. We'll actually put everyone on hold fire, just for a second. We want to see what they come out with first before we do that. Oh, Bradley over here has a bionic arm. We would like to acquire that. Uh, Ryan over here has a low shield pack, so we would also like to acquire that. Uh, so, boom. Done, done, and done. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any medicine with me, so... Hmm, how are we supposed to operate on this guy? We sent Index out and back in to bring in some medical supplies so that we can hopefully remove Bradley's... Oh, damn it! I just realized there's no light in here, is there? Index has solar pinhole. That's perfect. Uh, just put that there. There you go. That should definitely drastically increase our chances. And then we'll let Index go again back into the caravan. Now, since this royal goods trader has shown up, or a royal trader, was it? Royal tribute collector. I think it's time we send Pamela in to try and claim her birthright. Pamela somehow managed to come in at the complete opposite end of the map to where the traders are, but that's fine. We'll just send her over there, trade with the royal tribute collector. Thank you very much. And Thumb should be just finishing off their operation. Hopefully we ex successfully extract this bionic arm. I wonder if we can sell the prisoner to these guys afterwards as well. I don't think we can if they're incapacitated, and they may be incapacitated for a while after this. Exit bionic arm. I don't think we have enough gold for this, but you know what? I'm willing to give it a try, and oh yeah, she's got it on her, so she has to dump it first. Perfect, it's on the ground now, that'll do. Right. Ooh, exactly the right amount of gold for 13 honor. We shall take it all. Countess ceremony. Yes! Okie dokie. Um, let's see if we can trade with these. Can we trade them prisoners? I uh, don't think so. Prisoner is unconscious. That's unfortunate. I don't think we'll wait until... we got to release Bradley anyway, so... Unfortunately, we couldn't sell off Bradley. It's just they're too terrible. They just have so many artery clogs and all sorts of things, it's just not possible to do it. So instead, we're going to have to carry them with us because we can't actually even release them. They're too weak to be even released. Hopefully we can release them on the road or find some other way of getting rid of them. First thing in the morning, we're going to head straight over here to the Green Empire. Uh, we're going to abandon that settlement. I think I think we're good to get started on the last leg of our mission. We need to get over here somewhere close to our t final target. I'm thinking somewhere around there. This is the Actually, there. This is the closest place I can find with a decent environment where we could set up our base camp for our stage of operations for our last attempt, or for our attempt on the, the ship slash stellar quest. Plan will be send in at least two pawns, usually a couple, have them build up a little bit of a forward base, because we can't live with the animals on the tile. And then once we've got the base set up, we then move everyone in and start activating both quests so that we can deal with them all at the same time. Oh, Pamela's burn scarf has finally healed. The one that was on her brain. So... Yes, now she should finally be fully useful, like everyone else, as in she doesn't have any brain damage. It's always good not to have brain damage on your pawns. This town actually has one thing we really do want, a nuclear stomach. Yes, we will take it. Sight trainer beckons, like sensitizers, a couple of those, shock lance, and some chem fuel. Our next plan will be to go over here and trade. Uh, the reason being, I was going to try and use our transport shuttle to start heading towards our destination, but it would land us here in this sort of uh, green area. It's temperate forest. Unfortunately, it's 
growing period is 30 to 60 days, meaning if we land over there now, in the middle of September, our animals won't be able to graze and we'll go through our food reserves in no time. So instead, we're going to head over here, do a little bit of trading, and then we should be able to jump clean across that, or we might just settle down, wait till after the winter's over, and then move on. We'll have to see. We are going to get Index to run off on their own. They are much faster. It's going to take them 1.5 days to get to there. The rest of the team, it's going to take them 3.3. So I say what we do with this crowd is, we just have them stay here, maybe raid a couple of tombs, and once Index gets there, we fire skip over and join in. Simple, easy, fast. The jungle area, it seems, is not plentiful with uh, ancient dangers. It seems it's actually very rare in these places. There's nothing here. I've checked everywhere. I can't see anything. Maybe it's hiding inside one of these bigger blocks, but I just don't see any ancient dangers here. So off we go again. We'll just go to the next tile. Uh, also, we managed to release that prisoner, which... Hmm. Oh, and one of the sides is getting a little bit annoyed just because of Australia, but I don't care. Australia is actually doing okay. It's uh, managed to c collect a few more nasties. Now it's home to five centipedes and a bunch of uh, angry mechanoids. So yes, also there's a fog weather controller machine. So let's see what else shows up in that place. I, I don't think we're done with Australia just yet. Some of these jungle tiles do actually have ancient dangers, but only one. I've never seen a single one of them have two ancient dangers yet, as far as I can tell. I think jungles are just less likely to have them. Maybe it's the swamps or something in them, and wow, we are seeing a lot of centipedes in the last while. Um, yeah, let's just kill these. I think for fun, we're just going to open up the... Oh. Yeah, I don't like that one. That one looks like it's targeting us. Uh, okay, Nails is already fired. That's fine. In that case, we'll just get Tom do a quick skip. That way the Lancer misses, and we get to see what happens when this crowd fight. I think we'll probably want to capture some of these, so we'll send middle forward, and they can do a psychic shot glance on this one, namely because they have an aesthetic shaper. Perfect. Now we just have to, well, ooh, take care of the rest of them. Oh, middle, you need to get out of there. Uh, thumb, you can you can do the honors and teleport them back again immediately before they get shot at. All right, we'll let them fight it out, and then once they're finished killing each other, we'll go in and take care of the rest. Never mind, this is taking too long. Uh, yeah, let's just run in and kill a bunch. I think that's the fastest method. They're busy killing each other. We'll just use their abilities as we need. If we see anyone targeting our people, uh, we'll just go take care of them. Chief, do you have, who has a jump jet pack? Oh, can't use it in here, can you? From what I can see, no one's targeting us just yet. So we'll let our people do some killing. Right, uh, next. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have run into the middle of a fire, but you know what? You gotta live sometimes. I think the Lancer is the one that's gotta go down, though. Uh, just the reason being, Lancer is the only one that can possibly one-shot us, therefore it's the only one that's truly dangerous. Therefore, the Lancer can go right there, and we'll just kill it. And then everyone else can do whatever they want. You know what? Except you're gonna stop using guns and you're gonna switch to blades and close combat weaponry. I wanna make sure you all get in nice and close. Their close combat DPS is just far superior to all their other stuff. And there we go. Oh, fire guy. I think I need to move you somewhere more appropriate. Somewhere where people can uh, really appreciate your skills. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Now, who's left alive? Just chilly. Well, in that case, we can have Ring do a quick beckon. And then they will start walking towards us until they take damage. Which, if you're walking towards the murder munchkins, there's a very good chance you will be taking damage very shortly. Yeah. Oh. Hama just murdered them. Just straight up. Ooh. You. I want you to start uh, beating out fires if you wouldn't mind. Okay. Oh, and rescue that person. We ripped out that aesthetic shaper out of that prisoner. We cleaned up all the mess and we left. However, we couldn't really get rid of the prisoner. Reason being, the prisoner was... Uh, you know, incapacitated, and if we abandon the tile, we'd actually take a... Oh. Ooh. Yeah, we're actually taking a, a bit of a negative with that uh, side. Where is it? Jira. They were our allies, but I think they're, they're kind of disliking us because of the Australia proximity. We'll just have to trade with them and uh, improve that. Shouldn't take too long. Anyway, where were we? Ah, yes. Uh, but I think we're going to settle here for a while and just wait. We're going to charge up everyone so that their fire skip ability is maxed out. There's no point wasting... Well, 
We're going to be teleporting shortly to catch up with Index in 0.4 days, so let's let everyone charge up their abilities and get a rest on. Index is just about to land in that tile. When he does, we can teleport the rest of the team over. I think we'll take our juice from Pinky. They can uh, pay for this skip. Oh, what are you doing? All the way over there. God, that ability just makes things so much handier. Pretty good deal. Medicine Luciferium, Skill Trainer Construction, Melee Social, Aesthetic Shaper, a Bionic Eye, and a Doomsday Rocket Launcher. All stuff we will use. So, yeah, that was actually quite a good trade. And our relations with them have gone up by about, what, almost seven red points? Uh, uh, let's see, where are we going to go next? From here, can we take, can Chief's Transport Shuttle get us to the next section? Ooh. Not really. So you can get us into these mountainous areas, but we don't really want to do that. I think we just start hiking. Well, maybe we get... Yeah, we get Index to start hiking in that direction. Maybe settle down, get our morale up for a bit. Then we have Index run out and we, like, jump after them with a bit of a fire skip. Actually, you know what? We haven't killed any of these along the way. I say we go and kill these crowd. Then do a little bit of trading around here while killing a few of the surrounding villages. Yeah, it sounds a little bit more brutal. But I think I think we're out of time for today. So I think we'll cut it out here. Plan for next for uh, next episode. Uh, go over here, wipe out this village, do a little bit of trading, wipe out another village, and then set up down here. Set up down here so that we can move in on our final objective. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and uh, good luck.